Okay, welcome back. Now all I want to do is continue with quadrilaterals, okay? So let me just recap, okay? And uh, we, we've done this bit already, okay? We've covered this, okay? And we've covered this, just make sure, let you know that this is part of the same program, okay? Okay, and here we are, quadrilaterals, sorry. Okay, and polygons. Okay, so let, let me go back to where it was. That's enough of that. I don't need to spend too much time on recapping. This is for you to do yourselves and to be make yourself familiar with the work. Okay, I'm going to start from this point. Now, you can see that we are looking at X, Y, Z. Okay. And we know that this angle here should add up to 360 which in these the all the angles in here should add up to 360 okay so let's look at x first x equals 180 now y 180 degrees because sorry about that One second. Oh. Sorry about, about that. Um. Apparently my notepad fell down at the wrong time. Okay. Now, as I was saying, and I'm not going to edit this, okay? That's just life, okay? These things happen. Right, now, um, we're looking at X because we know any straight line is at 180 degrees. And we have an intersection of that line by X. So it's 180. We've been given 40 minus 40 degrees equals 140 so x we know is 140 so we have x which is 140 and i'll put this here let me get my pen one second and again this is for you to write out do not assume you're just going to learn it off the screen that does not work it has never worked for anyone before and i don't think it'll work now well okay i'll rephrase that it has never worked for me okay I've always had to write it out, okay? So here, that's all 140 degrees here. Okay? And that is, that is for X. Now, we now have Y. And we know there's something about this that tells us that that angle here is always equal to, to this angle here. Okay? So we have this angle here, these two angles here, which should be the same. Which should be the same, okay? Same. So therefore, if that's 40, we know this is going to be 40. So y should equal 40. So 180 minus 140, which we have been given previously. And this angle here also should be equal to the angle there. Okay. So 180 minus 140 equals 40 degrees. So y, we know, know it to be 40 degrees. Okay. Now z.
and again these opposite angles should be have the same value and let me just change the color of that to my, my pen okay so now remember I'm looking at this from a different perspective I'm only looking at this from the angle that allows me to recall this directly but for yourself you will need to write this out and draw the diagrams out so you, you are familiar with the process now that angle here should equal this angle here okay so those angles there and this angle here should equal should be the same okay so if that's 140 that should be 140 also so we know that z equals 180 minus 40 degrees equals 140 degrees now look at the interior angles between parallel lines add up to 180 parallel lines one these two lines are parallel okay so we know that z is that here now z is 140 degrees okay question four now here again let me just change to a different color here again a similar process now excuse all the written work because I've done this work before and I've written it up before when I presented it in class okay so excuse the written processes okay now here x equals 180 minus 90 degrees minus 35 so we're looking at x here okay it's going to minus that 90 here okay and it's going to minus this 35 here okay that will then give you one eighty so we're dealing with this first here we because we're looking at x first okay that first then we're looking at this next now minus ninety minus thirty five 90 plus 35 equals 125 so we're then looking at this stage here okay which links in to this here okay. 180 minus 125 leaves us 55 degrees now be sure that you're happy it is 55 degrees does 125 plus 55 make 180 yes it does okay and let's remember that angle in the triangle equals 180 degrees now let's go back here we now need to look for y and we know that this total angle here should be 180 so we have y 75 Now what have what have we learned from past? Base angles in isosceles triangle are equal. So here we have the base angle. And this is an isosceles triangle. Base angles in isosceles triangles are equal now when it says base angle what is he talking about that's your base here okay ignore my written up mess already you could tell that um we teach it a messy 
people at times. Okay. Now the terminology here is that base angles are equal. Now for some reason in something in my mind tells me that if that's 75, this here should be 75 as well. Okay. Now I know this because probably because of practice. Okay. So that should be 75 degrees there. But if that's 75 degrees, that also will be, Z will also be 75. Because the total angle here should be 180. Okay. And that there is 150. And if that's 150, that means this angle here, Z, should be 30 degrees. Okay, and here we have y equals 75 base angles, z equals 180 minus 75 minus 75 equals 100, equals, my apologies, 30 degrees, okay? So we can agree that that there ties up with this, and we can work that out correctly, okay? Right. Okay, now note is a quadrilateral, and if we add up all the interior angles, we get 360. Now, look at the following angles given reasons. Exercise one Now here we have 25, we have 135 degrees, we have 107. So we've been given these angles here already. So we know that the total angles with degrees in this situation should be 365. My apologies, 360. It's okay, I was just quoting the days of the year. Okay, right. 360 or 360 degrees. Now if that's 107, that's 100, that's 35, and it should equal to 360. What is angle A? So let's look at it. I'm going to use this space up here to give me what I want. 107. Plus. 100. Plus 35 equals, and what does that equal? Well, okay, well, I'm just going to do it the quick way, and um, as I'm sure you will. equals 242 that's 242 degrees now I need to find A so and I'm working on this side now okay I'm taking this now let me take a different color Make it more so I'm going to take two forty two, okay? 
So it's going to be 360. Minus two, four, two equals what? So three sixty minus two, four, two equals what? I know I have to watch something here. What am I just not? Am I just bugging me? 107, yes. And, That's giving me a figure here of one one eight. Now I'm question I'm questioning that myself. Let me see why am I questioning that. So A equals So A equals one one eight. Let me check something here. That's not it's not uh, in my head. I know I need to know why. It is right. Yes, it is right. Okay. Here we have that A is equal to 218 degrees. And your reason here is that it needs to add up to 360. Okay. Now two So we have 18 we have 240 and we have 15 now I have to admit I'm a little bit curious about this 240 here and the reason why is that It's extending that pan semi circle piece.
Now, this total area here should angle they should add up to 360. Should still add up to 360. So what's concerning me here is that we have 18. plus 15 plus 240 which equals to right so we have 18 plus 1 5 plus 2 4 0 equals 273 equal to that equal 273 degrees Degrees. So we then look look at three sixty minus two seven three. And that should be equal to so three six zero minus two seven three equals what did we get? We get eighty seven degrees. And I'm doing this now working up for you so you can see how it was done. Whereas when I've done it before you can see eighty seven degrees matches this here, this answer here correctly. Okay? And that's the process to which we applied. Okay? Thank you. All right. Now I'm not going to do any more for you. I want you to work out the rest for yourselves. And you'll see that here, in some cases here, I've given you ideas already as to how they should be done. I'm going to go back a little bit. And I'll give you the answers in some cases here. Look at how the answers was achieved and do the work now for yourselves. Okay. And again here, similar thing, especially shapes like these. Make sure you understand this, this is a kite. Okay, and one of the problems you have with kids in class is that um, they tend to get a little bit lost which which side to deal with. Look at this as a triangle in itself, okay? So let me just give you do a rough outline just so you can see what you would need to be looking at in as a triangle yourself. Now, excuse me, it's a bit rough, okay? I, I apologize. But I'm just roughing anyway already, okay? And you can see that you can look at that angle as one triangle. You can then look at this here as another triangle, okay? Right? Basically, and that's the way you would you would look at it. Kite shape. And here you have your kite pieces in place, okay? Okay. But you will need to draw this out for yourselves, okay? Overall. Okay. Make sure you understand the concept of it. But you can see here, I've given you the answers here in some cases here as well. Check the answers are correct for yourself, okay? Okay. A polygon is a many-sided figure, okay? And here we have a polygon with a many-sided figure. A regular polygon is a polygon which has equal sides and equal angles. Look at this table of polygons. Three-sided polygon is a triangle. Four-sided polygon is a quadrilateral. Five-sided polygon is a pentagon. Six-sided polygon is a hexagon. Seven-sided polygon is a heptagon. Okay. 
eight sided polygon is, is an octagon, nine sided polygon is a nonagon, ten sided polygon is a decagon. These almost sound like something from Jurassic Park. Okay. Rules concerning polygons. The exterior angles of a polygon add up to 360 degrees. The exterior angle. Okay. The sum of the interior angles is given by the formula 2n minus 4 plus 90 degrees. So be aware of this, utilize this. Where n is the number of sides in the polygon. Okay n is the number of sides in the polygon so here you have n okay let's make sure we can get this up for you okay. okay and that is your formula for finding polygons okay so let's have a look at the, this process for of an, of an example here n equals 5 why 5 because it has five sides. One, two, three, four, five. Okay. Some of the interior angles, okay. will be added together, okay, equal 2 times 5, two times five and with the 2 comes from the formula we just looked at, which is here, okay, minus 4, I leave it six six times and here you will multiply okay okay sum of interior angle equals 540 degrees okay this is excellent work this is this is really um you when you get used to this this is beautiful work to be doing, actually. Okay, I mean this this interests me. This does um, almost gets me all excited, but never mind. Okay, there are certain types of questions which occur frequently on examination papers concerning polygons. Read for the following examples. Now, I am not going to do anything on this for you. This is for you now to do yourselves. Okay, work for the examples. Let me change this to uh well i won't change anything but run that for for yourself okay and here you are okay Okay. Okay. Let's make sure we can get come back and get you in into shot. Okay. Good. Right. There are two methods. Both are equally acceptable and are given below. Choose the method which you prefer. Now remember, you need to apply. A method that you feel comfortable with and find one that works for you okay no one is saying that you have to do it this way or you have to do it that way you apply a method that suits you within the confines of your formulations okay Now you don't need me to be talking through this any further, you've seen this all, all already, okay, so you should know by now what to do with, with it, okay, so I'm not doing anything more on that.
just for you now to, to work out and to get through, okay? Do the examples, work the examples out for yourself. Do not ignore it. Do not think you can do it off the, off the screen. Write it out. Write it out. Practice, 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 okay? I've done this already, so I'm not going to do it again, okay? You would clean it from above. Okay, and these are the ones I'd like you to try for yourself. Okay, I'm not giving you any answers. The answers you will find for yourself. And you can converse with your associate or converse with your lecturer teacher to find out whether or not your answers is correct. Uh, okay, so we have the answers here already. So you don't need to go too far. And that is that is me for today. Okay, excellent work. Beautiful work. I I love the stuff I do. Love the stuff. It's brilliant. I mean the methods of applying formulation to find angles in regards of octagons support or po polygons let me rephrase that it's quite um, a knowledgeable achievement to have okay thank you I'm going to stop there now and I hope you have found this useful okay if you practice 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 on this you'll find that it does not go anywhere now it doesn't matter about the year the, the mathematics does not change it is still the same it's like when they try to put a man in space, they thought they needed a new match only to find that um, it was the same match that they had already covered, just applied in a different m environmental application. Okay, right, thank you, have a good day, and bye-bye for now, and uh, we will talk soon, okay? And I'm just going for this just to make sure that I've got everything on screen and I have not left anything off. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye.